Hey there, friends. I'm about to show you one of the most interesting, but one of the most drawn out videos I have ever made. But to start with, we're going to have to go back. Thanks, future Kevin. It is the 7th of February right now, so I have 30 days to try my best to actually learn the drums. I should probably assemble the drums. Okay, we're set up, kind of. I don't know why I expected them to be bigger. I've got my drumming glasses. These are part of my drumming persona. When I put these on, I go from Kevin O'Reilly to Kevin O drums. Wow, where did Kevin O'Reilly go? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> Oh, I feel like an idiot. <laughs> that is exactly how I feel. I feel so uncoordinated and like, how do you play the drums? <laughs> For a test, this is me trying to make myself sound cool on the drums. I'm so confused. I'm gonna try and do some online lessons and really try and drum everything into my head. I always wanted to do that. I found a couple of images online that gave some basic little starting tutorials, just things to mess around with and get a bit comfortable with your hands moving. Also, looking back at the footage, it really seems like I'm just a fully grown adult who never grasped counting and I'm just trying my best. One. so hard when each of your limbs is doing something else. <laughs> That's good. And there's different types. One, two, one. This one has a lady getting angry at me. No, no, slow down, lady. Slow down. Slow down. Uh, that's better. No, it's not actually. Now I'm going too fast. Two. God damn it, this is gonna be harder than I thought. Okay, I've been doing a lot of practice, coming and going every now and again, just sitting down, having a little bit of a bop, and I'm getting this, this whole motion and the timing a little bit. So we got one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one. I'm getting it. I just don't know where I'm going. I guess I'll do some lessons online or something. I don't know. As you can tell, I'm fully prepared for this challenge. You know what they say? Prepare to fail, fail to prepare. You see right there, I did it again. This is what came up when I searched your very first drum lesson. It's on a YouTube channel called Drumio. <laughs> and this, this is what I'm going with. He's teaching like just some basic timing and rhythm and using this thing, <laughs> as drummers use it, sorry if we're getting technical. Uh, the snare, which is the drum in front of him, and the, the big kicking one on the bottom. <laughs> sorry again for being technical. So you can see he's doing one, two, three, four here. Okay, I, I, I can do that. So over the next two days, I just sat down at the drums when I'd write a few minutes, and to be honest, I found myself wanting to play them. Every time I pass them, they're right there. I just sit down and play a bit. And I'm definitely getting into the rhythm a bit, which is nice. There's definitely a bit of improvement, but I'm kind of scared on where I'm going because I don't know where I'm going next. At one point, I did think the next step was to be able to twirl the drumsticks and look really cool. Normally, I guess the YouTuber or editor would, would edit that out, but I'm just, I'm just going to leave that in there. I'm just going to sit on the fact that once again, I am the butt of the joke. And let's continue that trend of me being the butt of the joke, shall we? I totally unintentionally stopped right here for ages. But there's a good reason for this. It's because of my flaws <laughs> as a person, okay? I do this thing quite a lot and I'm not used to doing big projects. I have ADHD, for those of you that aren't aware. 
this makes bigger projects a little overwhelming to me. I get very excited at the start and then I tend to just kind of drop them without really meaning to and then leaving it go too long. But this was around the time that I had been diagnosed and I really wanted to sort my life out, stop letting things just go, and I really wanted to finish off everything I had started. I should probably mention the thing that gave me the kick up the ass to actually continue this was I had to leave the country in like two weeks after restarting this. So I effectively just lost some of those 30 days that I was meant to have to learn the drums. Okay. Oh, my glasses! I need my glasses, otherwise I can't drum. So yeah, it's been a while. I don't even know if I'm going to continue with this or not. This took so much of a push to actually get myself to set up this area again because it, it had been totally moved, everything had been changed and um, yeah, it really, it really took a lot to get to this point and I don't even know if I'm going to continue. It's just one of those things that I said, you know what, I'm going to set it up, I'm going to hit some of these and I want to see how I feel. I've forgotten nearly everything. The good thing about a lot of this uh, kind of stuff is it's a lot of muscle memory. So even though I can't really remember what I was doing, I think my muscles will. I think it was one, and then two, and then three, and then four. Okay, I remember that. And then I was the... Powering on. Never mind. Let's not do this. Maybe that's a sign it just wasn't meant to be. I don't know. Never believed in signs. I don't believe in signs, so I can't learn from any of those. I can't seem to learn from, like, traditional learning. And the online tutorials have helped, but I'm kind of struggling where to go from there. Then I realized, wow, I have a genius drummer friend slash business partner <laughs> called Mr. Greggles. We work together on a software called Atom, which is basically all about automating streams and whatnot. I used it recently on a music stream. It's a fantastic piece of kit. It's in the description if you want to try it out. But I needed his help with something else today, learning the drums. But I needed his help with something else before that. So there's like not a lot of movement, even if I loosen these two... Um... What would you call them? Like, oh, nuts? it's a screw. Untighten it all and then spin the, the chair. Oh god, there's so many wing nuts. How can a chair be this complicated? That immediately looks better. That'll also help with lifting your knee. Greg and his girlfriend, Nas, actually suggested a song to me, Riptide, which I immediately was like, yeah, okay, that's something I can work with. So when we're playing the song, you'll be going, da, 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 da. To start off with, all I want you to do is that. So you, your foot is essentially staying ex exactly the same position. A little bit of movement, but it, you're just doing that. You've got mail. What I'm doing here is I'm, I'm not sinking them like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm actually doing bass drum, hi-hat, bass drum, hi-hat bass drum hi-hat and that's all i'm doing bass and bringing in the hi-hat on the ends yes being able to independently stop and start a limb actually starts to build sort of the the, the individual neurons that allow you to control your hands without them sinking so like I say if we can nail that then you're well on the way to being able to play quite a lot of drum beats actually okay well that's encouraging even though it sounds hard, but I guess it's just a matter of trying and trying until you can get it right. Drums is a great instrument from going from nothing to being able to actually play music really fast. That's so cool. I never really thought about it that way. It looks so intimidating. Seven Nation Army. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Like you, You're making music immediately. It's wonderful. If you're practicing and you make a mistake, don't stop. One of the best things about drumming is it goes by so fast that nobody notices so if you make a mis <laughs> if you make a mistake and you keep going even on recordings people won't notice and there is a more advanced thing to that which is if you make a mistake repeat it it makes it look as if you meant to do it this is very hard <laughs> you're doing it though don't worry about uh doing the bass drum on its own just try doing bass drum hi-hat one and two 
three, and four. No, one second, I've lost that. One, Don't worry. And two, and three. Ha! <laughs> this is so frustrating, because I feel like I've made a step backwards <laughs> from what I've already learned. You might be having a hard time with this today. You'll come back tomorrow and your brain will have worked it out. If you can get to that point, then all we have to do at that stage is then add the snare drum and you'd be able to play the drum beat. The way Greg says it sounds so easy, but doing it sounds so hard. It's so weird to see someone just moving their arms. You're like, oh, do this. And then you try it and you're like, <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. It's really annoying. But the thing about drums is, and it's what Greggles was saying, is that it's really about just practicing a bit, stopping, coming back, which is great for someone like me that can't just sit down for hours and just learn. However, I am going to need to practice. I'm going to have to get creative here because I don't like practicing. Okay, so I can practice the foot movement. I've got this set up here and I can practice the timings as I work, which is, in this case, playing Stardew Valley. I don't know if this is a good idea. I genuinely tread the line between stupid and genius, and I really don't know where I land most of the time. <laughs> I practiced acoustically, and I've gotten the leg movement kind of down. But I think the real problem actually in the lesson, in hindsight, is that I wasn't wearing my glasses, so how could I play? This is a metronome going at the speed the song needs. And then in between on the ends, I need to hit this. One, and two, and three, and four, and so on. I'm getting it. I'm like semi-confident I can do this. <laughs> I think the problem is, is that you need to maintain that speed throughout the entire song, and it's really hard to maintain it without losing timing at all. I've literally got a week before I have to leave the country, and this won't fit in hand luggage. I have to stop it there, so I need to nail this track by then. Luckily, Greg came to me in a dream. Or perhaps he sent me a video file. I can't remember, it was so long ago. We're gonna say it was a dream. Dream, dream, dream. Hey man. What we need to now do is start including the snare drum. So the drum between your legs. What you'll be doing is just playing this beat. Da, 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 da. It's actually really easy. Bass drum, hi-hat, snare drum, hi-hat. That's the pattern. One and two. That was wrong immediately. One and two and three and four. And just do that. One and two and three and four and one. <laughs> Learn this first, just that. And then later, you go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and... Why is the drums difficult? Those three parts, either just the bass drum, just the hi-hat and the bass drum, and all three together are all you'll need for this song. And you can put the, the crash on if you want, if you're feeling confident enough to do it. E and, uh, three, e and uh, the three glasses, four, that's it, of course. I keep forgetting my power. One and two and three and four and one and oh my god, it's working! They work! <laughs> this is scientific proof! <laughs> okay, I have some practicing to do, and I'm very overwhelmed by all of this. Good luck! It's so weird on drums because this literally felt impossible. Like Five minutes ago, <laughs> and now I'm like, oh, I think I can do this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Yes! Loading victory. Who's the joke now? You know, I'm so relieved because watching Greggles actually perform that looked actually impossible, like literally impossible. Like, this guy has manipulated this video footage. <laughs> this is not possible, my man. I'm really liking the drums. It's a lot harder when I actually have to keep it in time, though. Yes! I think I'm getting there. I think I'm finally 
understanding this movement. Now it's just a matter of getting the timing, and that wasn't too bad. It's amazing what you can learn in a few minutes on the drums. It's crazy. Like compared to what I feel with guitar, it's very slow. Uh, this feels like I'm making progress really quick. Three and four and damn my limbs. All right, maybe I got a little bit over cock. That's an unfortunate <coughs> verbal slip up. Maybe I got a little bit overconfident. One and two and three. Ha, okay, but I'm getting it. That's the important thing. Hey everyone, it's me. I'm in space now. At least I hope that's space behind me. So I've been practicing a while. I'm actually kind of getting it. It's just a matter of persistence. And with drumming, I feel like it's kind of like a jigsaw. You know when you can't find where the last piece is? And then you step away and as soon as you come back, you see it immediately? That's the same kind of process I'm having where sometimes it just clicks when I sit down after not playing for a while. Then something amazing happened. I managed to convince myself to just practice. Just, just every day, a bit of practice. I really needed to get this. But here comes another tricky part, because not only do I need to know how to play the drums, I need to figure out what, like, speed we're going to do this Riptide song at. Because I play it on guitar, but I don't know, like, what beats per minute or whatever it is. I don't know. I just taught myself. I don't know anything about music. Help me! <laughs> I love you when you're singing that song. I need to contact someone who knows anything about music to tell me what that was close to. Enter my other drumming genius friend, Todd. Do you know what time signature means? No. <laughs> right. Sorry. I'm, I'm about to school your ass. Um, <laughs> so time signatures have two numbers. The second one you can fucking ignore. It's bullshit. You don't need that. It just means to type a note that it is, but that makes very little difference anyway. The first number is the important one. So you, people say it's in 4-4. Four, four. That means you only pay attention to the first number, and that number is how many beats you count but it could be 6, 616 or 632 or 64 or 6 egg. It doesn't make any difference really what the second number is until you're reading it. But I don't really read much music and I'm sure you have no interest because it's a shit way of doing it. And you can sing just from like your ear telling you whether you're singing right or not. So that's the way to, to do it, I think. On your drum kit, if there's a metronome built in, they'll go beep, boop, 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 beep. And the, the, the one will be accented. It'll be like a different tone. And then the other three, like the two, three, and four, they'll be a different tone. If it's in three, you'll have beep, and that'll put you off when you're trying to play in 4-4 four four because you'll hear this different tone. So if I've got a bar of music, which we've decided to go as one, two, three, four, that is a bar, yeah, a count of four. When you start the one again, you're on a new bar. So what you could do is put the metronome on practice the guitar and singing part with the metronome from the drum kit in the background. And then oh, if you feel rushed, you can then you can then settle on a BPM that you're comfortable with on all accounts. I'm up to 97. Uh, so here's 97 to a metronome to see how close it is. Was that close? Please tell me that was close. The goalposts keep moving on this challenge. It's so hard. I thought it'd be easy. I thought I'd just pick it up and just start going, you know, nuts. And you'd all be like, whoa, this guy's amazing at drums. He's like a drumming genius. But now I look like some sort of drumming idiot. The only thing about this, the saving grace, is that the other one was actually a bit slow to the point of it was hard to get into a rhythm, and this one's easier to get in a rhythm, but it's much harder to keep it on track. I hope none of you clicked on this video with the idea like, this will show me how to learn the drums, because I feel like I've taught you exactly how to not do it. Like, do the opposite of everything I do. I'm sorry for hitting you there. But here's where I'm really gonna shine as a like, why the hell are you learning it this way, Kevin? What are you doing, Kevin? Stop, Kevin. This is the little speaker I've been using. It is tiny, absolutely tiny. And that's what I've been using to play it out loud if I don't want my headphones. Meanwhile, my amp has an MP3 line in on the back the entire time. So you have served me well, but I think it's time to say goodbye. One, two, three. I feel like she's gonna hit me if I don't do it right. I swear these drums keep moving further and further to the right. So I've decided to try and learn to about 90 BPM, which is a bit slower than the original, a bit faster than my attempt. 
somewhere in the middle to keep it fun, but also to slow it down so that it kind of fits my version. One, two, three, four. There's the scary lady, and uh, here's what I got. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, All right. Two, one, two, three, one, 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 one. What's really cool about that is I saw Greggles doing that and I was like, that looks literally impossible. So it's really satisfying to be able to do. Kind of got the pattern and all the pieces of the puzzle, but I need to do the timing right and I need to do everything in order. So the way I've decided to do that is basically invent my own music language. I'm the joke once again. Okay, so this is what I've got from Greggles, who has kindly written it out for me, and what I need to do. So I'm simply going to invent my own language here, and um, I know it looks like binary, but no, I've got a system here, let me explain. Oh god, this is getting messy. I feel like it would be easier just to learn music theory at this point. Okay, so as you can see, he said seven there, and I'm going... Uh, seven. So that's the bass drum. And one bar of nothing. That's zeros. Full beat is three. <laughs> and half beat is two. Oh my god, this looks like something the Zodiac Killer would have invented. <laughs> okay, today is the day. This is the first time I'm going to be trying the song in its entirety. I know what you're thinking. Kevin, shouldn't you have done this beforehand? Before the day you actually need to record the song? Well, maybe you're right, okay? Maybe I have problems that I've yet to address. <laughs> no, but for real, today's the day. I need this space and I want to get this done. I think I have the ability, like, I can do it really quick now. It's just a matter of keeping in time for an entire song and being in the right place at the right time. And oh my god, what have I gotten myself into? Drum roll, please. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> This is my take of Riptide. It's important to note that while the singing and the guitar are not the recordings that are being played on screen, the drum is and was a full playthrough, not spliced together. So all my friends are turning green You're the magician's assistant in their dream Oh There'll be a link in the description if you want to see the full music video without me interrupting, but there are a few things I want to say. Like, anytime I do a video like this, where I try a new skill and I just try my best to jump in and see what happens, I'm always blown away by the skill people have with whatever it is I might be giving a go. It gives you a newfound respect for whatever that thing might be. But one thing about drums that has impressed me, and it's what Greggles was saying, and I've been saying it to people who I think would like the drums, it's such an accessible instrument. I'm so impressed that it took like two weeks for me to learn this, and that's obviously including how to record it and setting up cameras and stuff like that. Any of you, if you're interested in music and the drums looks fun, to you, it's really doable. Oh. These parts were so hard, by the way, with the pauses and trying to maintain that beat in your mind. I just wanna, I just wanna know If you're gonna, if you're gonna stay I just gotta, I just gotta know I can't have it, I can't have it any other way
It took a long time to do it, even longer to show you, but I performed a song. I can't put into words how much work went into this video, not only learning the drums, but doing the whole setup, recording it, and trying to actually process the audio. We had massive problems and I'd already left the country, so I couldn't re-record it. It was just a train wreck, but I really hope it was worth it. And now I'm gonna let Kevin O drums take us home and I'll see you in the outro. I love you when you're singing that song And I got a lump in my throat Cause you're gonna sing the words wrong Oh lady, running down to the riptide Taking away to the dark side I wanna be your left hand man I love you when you're singing that song That was it. That was the one. Boom. This taught me so much about music. I'm sure there are many drummers out there that were like, this guy's an idiot. And you may be right, but it's still not nice to say. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new, and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now. Three, four.